my course team. Thank you to all my subscribers. This literally means the entire world to me. Like, la mera verdad. Like, I have no pants on, but you can't see that. Like, up and down, and I was like, oh, sorry. Oh, you said I didn't No, I didn't like it. Get, LTK. Give, the, give this video a thumbs up for thumbs Nicholas. Thumbs up and subscribe. Yo. Atlanta moment. <laughs> Take me in that shot lately. What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, it's going to be a little all over the place. I'm gonna start doing a little bit more longer kind of vlogs that aren't necessarily like a few hours. I wanna start making them into like two, three days to like m eventually getting into a weekly vlog or two weekly vlogs. Today it's currently 9 p.m. and right now I'm about to, oh. Well, I'm in, I probably will get very emotional in this vlog just be a lot, so I'm gonna pack. Oh my god, it's gonna hit me a lot, guys. Austin, and I'm gonna be going with Michael Kors to celebrate their new launch. And I don't know, sorry if the brightness is like a little weird. Celebrate their ombre collection, and they, they honestly, this is the first brand that is like accommodating everything that has gone above and beyond for me. And so I have my Remova luggage and I carry on. I'm about to pack this baby up. But I want to say, first of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all my subscribers for this. Like, let me know that it honestly means a lot. This is a long way coming. And I'm just so grateful to be going on this little mini trip with Michael Kors. It's the first kind of like, I wouldn't, well, would you call it a pure trip? I really don't know. I just know that I've been wanting to do trips, to be kind of like an it girl, to be kind of a blogger, especially me, somebody from the South where, you know, type these type of events, these type of things don't happen a whole lot. So I'm very, very excited um, to be going to Austin tomorrow. Um, they are accommodating. I um, There is a car that's going to be picking me up tomorrow at 7 and they are going to drive me to Austin. I'm going to be there for the day and then I leave on Wednesday a flight. So I fly out back to Houston. And then on Thursday, I have one of my best friend's birthdays. And then on Friday, I believe I have to go to Dallas to celebrate 4th of July. So it's a little bit all over the place, but I'm very, very excited to be on this journey and to be here uh, through this entire process. So I have a trip with Michael Kors. I'm very, 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 very excited, guys. You guys know, like, like I wasn't allowed to have, like, handbags. I wasn't allowed to, you know, like, I remember, like, during one of my birthdays, uh, I had enough money to buy bags and my mom would not let me buy them or whatever. And it's crazy now that, you know, I get to, you know, get, you know, not even get bags for free or not even that, just to have, like, a platform and to, you know, when people DM me, Oh, I'm afraid to wear my bag or I'm afraid to wear this or that and that people come up to me for advice via email or DMs or even in person It just means a lot to me and you know, um, I have some pictures of me like when I was in high school and um, I would like take my mom's you know purses and I would put them in my backpack and then I would wear the bags and then when I got to the bus to go back home or if like my mom or my dad picked me up, I would like literally put it in and I would put it back in my mom's closet and she would never, nunca se daba cuenta and it's in 2015 and um, I just think it's kind of like a, I'm kind of having that kind of full circle where, you know, I, it's like a brand that I've always loved. It's a brand that I, I would always give as a gift. Um, here's like another one from like Snapchat. You know, I would give Michael Kors gifts to my friend. Um, for one of my birthdays, one of my best friends bought me a Michael Kors backpack. I've always had Michael Kors watches. Here's like another one. Um, here's like some Tom Ford glasses and, and some Michael Kors watches. Who remembers the slim runway? Honestly, my brother um, stole it from me. Like I gave it to him and he lost it. And you know, I just think it's like, like I just cannot believe that this is happening. I'm very, very, um, excited like I don't know what to expect you guys know I'm such like a nervous I'm not like very much like like uh, you know as much as like I live my life on the platform but even when I meet people like I met one of my subscribers Sam at Nordstrom and I was like I'm so sorry like I'm a little nervous like I'm a little shaky and you know tomorrow is the day I've been waiting for this day for such a long time I did not tell anybody except some of my close friends and now I'm so excited to you know, go on this little Michael Kors trip, this little Michael Kors adventure with you guys. I'm so excited to take you guys along. I, mean, I feel like I'm finally getting a lot of the recognition. I'm finally getting a look a lot. I did a campaign with Saks Fifth Avenue. That's such a big deal. Like I remember going into uh, Galleria Dallas uh, when they had their Saks Fifth Avenue back in the day. I think I was still like in, in, 
in elementary and I remember walking in there and feeling like a sense where I didn't belong there and you know my parents were like why are we here and you know now I get to go to the Houston Galleria and I get to go into Saks and if I see something that I like I can buy it or I can go in and try on designer clothes or try on shoes and you know now working with you know one of those brands that I, I felt like I didn't belong there and now you know I'm working with them so it's always like such like it's such a full circle moment for me and these are always things that I kind of wanted as a child if you guys know my story I feel like I bring it up all the time but you know I would go into school you know when I graduated early and stuff like that and I would always be like you know I want these things for myself and they're finally coming guys and um, none of this would be possible without you guys I love you all so 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 much con todo mi corazón I, I really really do and this goes to show if I can come from you know, Grand Perry 75052 um, to Houston, Texas and to who knows where my life is going to lead um, you could do it too and you know, there may be bumps, there may be things but at the end of the day um, all that's going to shape you and lead you to the next steps and the next chapters in your life so yeah, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody like you guys have no idea los quiero, los quiero mucho, I don't want to get emotional but I love you all so, 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 so much. There's a packet in here. We are almost like, here. Yeah, We're about awesome. getting a charter bus. And I just feel like, I feel like I'm on cloud nine. This does not happen every day. This is a limited edition Sergio <laughs> vlog. <laughs> and the girls are laughing at me because we've been having a good conversation this entire time. But we're almost here and I'm so excited. So we're almost here, girl. I look like a hot early mess, girl, because I've been having sunscreen. <laughs> um, I'm here with some of my girl, some of my girlfriends that I just made right now. And I'm gonna shout them out because they're gonna be with me for the rest of the day. And so here you go, I'm gonna pass you. Introduce yourself. Oh my god, hi vlog. Put your camera is good. We're sliding. Oh, it's here. <laughs> look at you in it. Okay, I'm, I'm Madeline. Um, Instagram Madeline underscore pain. Tell them a little bit about yourself oh. so, they, so they can okay, know who okay, you are. Okay, okay. Um, I'm a model. I'm in the fashion industry, so I'm a fashion model. That's pretty much what I'm doing. This is like my first event, so I'm learning all the goodies. This from. is the first for all of us, so we're, yes. kind of, we're like kind of experiences together. Yes. We're like, all, we're like all over the place. Okay. <laughs> Let me turn it too so you can see. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm Leah Alexander, and my IG and my TikTok is the Leah Alexander with Sergio and Madeline, and we're here with Michael Kors. They invited us to come out and celebrate with them for their summer 2022 collection, and we're all super, super excited. excited. Yes. Yes. Oh, I have their one of their swimsuits on. I don't think this is a part of the collection, but it's super cute, super good quality. So cute. And yes! We're super excited, and the moment that I came into the bus because they picked me up last, she was like, I know who you are, watch your videos. <laughs> literally, so I was that, like... It literally made my day. I was like all, all nervous to like talk to the girls. I'm no. Like, I wouldn't want to get into it, and then when she said that, I felt so comfortable. <laughs> right. We've been having nothing but, you know, little social media talk and everything. Exactly. And now we're like kikis, and you know, now we're girlies, <laughs> you know? It's hard to find, you know, other bloggers in a Houston. Right. And, you know, now we, we made a little connection organically. We made a connection yes. organically, exactly. <laughs> I love it, I love it. And now we're gonna take over Austin for the day, as we should. With and, uh, Michael Kors. Kors yes. They came and they picked us up in the city. girl, like the city girls, <laughs> like, when, they, when they like take cars, like when they're about to go to a concert with like their Sydney outfits. We are city girls. We're city show, girls. show the bus, show the bus. City girls. Oh, okay, city here, you wanna bus. show the bus? Yeah. Oh my god, girl! Real, uh, real city girl energy. If it's, if it's, if it's uh, oh, the light. If, oh, we should have done this a long time. Right, you must have been playing with this earlier. I didn't know that this. Okay, I was turning that like up and down. Do we have something? Oh, you can put that up and down. Real? Oh. oh. I need to get that for the TikTok. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay. I need you to put it up. Wait, wait, wait. Been in one of these okay. buses before? Okay, Madeline. <laughs> Perfect. That was everything. Oh.
So guys, I'm in my hotel room. I took my pants off because I think I'm gonna change. But here it is. I'm with the Michael Kors team. I'm so excited. So first of all, I want to say thank you so much to the Michael Kors team. Thank you to all my subscribers. This literally means the entire world to me. Like, la mera verdad. Like, I have no pants on, but you can't see that. Um, this is my hotel room. I'm gonna put my pants on, and then I'm gonna do a little hotel room tour. Um, it says, Dear Sergio, welcome to Austin. Looking forward to enjoying the MK Summer with you, Team MK. And I have this beautiful bouquet of the flores. Like, ay, la mera verdad, que padre. And then I have this beautiful backpack. Um, it's part of their new ombre collection. It has blue, and it fades into the Michael Kors monogram. And it is so cute. I remember one of my best friends in high school gave me a Michael Kors backpack. And it is so cute. And this is going to be perfect for... Um, this is going to be perfect for the rest of the summer. Fourth of July is right around the corner. And it's going to get so much wear. And then I also got this beautiful Michael Kors set. This is a Michael Kors um, hoodie. And it is part of their new collection. It's in a size small. And... Oh my god, the size small, um, and I'll make sure to leave everything linked down below, and I'm going to go ahead and try on the look so you guys can see, and then I'll give you a little tour of the hotel room. And this is the Michael Kors ombre set. I love it. I think it's super cute. Um, I feel like Jeffree Star when they have like all those like monogram sets. Um, I love it. Esa padre me queda toda la medida, and uh, I like love it all. And I'm so grateful to be here. I'm going to give you a tour. So this is the door. Um, this is the little shower. Um, super cute. Todo padre. Y mira, está un perfume. A little Wanderlust from Michael Kors. Super happy to have that. Um, just a really nice hotel. Very classy. A little safe. And I am... Here, like, look, single agua. I'm here, and then I, I love the flowers, I love the backpack, I love this outfit, I love everything about it. And this is my view of Austin. And I'm about to go upstairs and see what is up. Let's smell these flowers. I feel like La Rosa Guadalupe. You know, have you ever guys watched La Rosa Guadalupe? It's like a Mexican show, and it's like they have like the roses that are white that you know you're usually red but the white ones like good luck and like buena suerte and so i'm happy that it's como la rosa o lupe like where the rosas are white and i love my backpack i love this little set moment i love it Está todo padrísimo. and i'm like i don't know i feel like I, somebody needs to pinch me um i met the other girls that are here with me um and they were really nice and really sweet i thought it was gonna be like a little awkward you guys know i'm such a, an awkward person and no, they were really nice and really sweet and we got to talk about like a lot of things and um, I'm super excited like Ay, estoy aquí, estoy aquí. Ay, uh, I'm so excited Quizá quiero brincar. I feel like a little kid like I feel like I'm living my um, elementary junior high high school fantasy and you know I'm like living the moment and Okay, so I'm about to go into the pool. I think I'm going to go into the pool, but I'm wearing going to change first because I'm going to feel the vibe. I kind of don't want to go in the pool and like nobody's there. So um, this is a little bit uh, caliente. It's a little humid here. So I'm going to wear that later tonight. Um, but I am going to pack my bathing suit in here. Uh, I love the backpack. I'm going to wear the backpack right now. Well, you guys know blue always looks good on me. Blue is my favorite color outside of like red, white, and black. Uh, with some of my essentials. So in case if I do go swimming, I have these red swimming trunks. Um, I bought these like years ago. I have my Texas Ranger hat. And then I have um, this little t-shirt. It's a little on the wrinkly side, but I think it should be fine. Um, not sure if I'm gonna get into the pool, but I could always steam out the shirt. Actually, I think I'm gonna wear my totem tank top. I think that's a better choice. Sickening. Actually, I should have brought my white totem hat, but that's fine. Um, my Tom Ford body oil and anything that I talk about in today's video um, will be down below. A little bit of sunscreen. It is a little cloudy here in Austin, but I do have that. This is a bracelet that they gave me a few days ago. So I have like a little bit of cash, but I'm gonna put these essentials inside of here. 
I took the wristlet part and I put it inside the bag. It's because I want to use it as a pouch right now. These are a little too much. I feel like this is perfect. The bodysuit, the shorts, the row sandals. Uh, the same jewelry that I always wear. And my Michael Kors backpack. And I'm not sure if I want to do my Hermes sandals. Just because they have brown, it's more black white. I feel like I'm just going to do this. Um, this is my hotel. If you ever stay here, this is my um, lucky number. I'm staying at the Westin in Austin. Here's some of the ready to wear that they have. Hopefully they don't get copywritten. They have this beautiful dress with this little chain moment. These little white dresses. Um, all these are available at Dillard's or they're available on the Michael Kors website. This is really pretty. It's very flattering. I love the little bow detail. I love the little bikini bottom. They had a little bit more pieces, but these are some of the pieces. But I love this little ombre collection, especially the little hoodie that I'm wearing. I'm like totally obsessed with it. And I'm going to be showing you guys some of the Michael Kors shoes. So they have these little gladiators. Um, they are super cute. They are super lightweight. They literally weigh like nothing. Then they have this little heel moment. This one does have a little bit of weight because of the heel. Super cute. Love the little details. I love this little platform moment. A little bit of these fun little moments. Water. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. I don't even oh my phone. These ended up fitting. I took some beautiful I was telling that we took some pretty shots, right? We took some pretty shots. It literally looks like uh, like it is a real Michael Kors campaign. Like like it is. And it's like it feels so cool to be like in the whole collection and everything and to like actually like I can't wait for the pictures blue to come out. Color. Blue is my color looking well I, I was gonna wear red but blue ended up being like perfect. It's your color for sure. And then the little duffel, the little tote moment, but uh I am <laughs> like, give it all you need to be in that shot lately. Come on, <laughs> come on, Leah. Come on. Yeah. Coming at some drama. <laughs> You're giving everything supposed to give. Yes. Oh my god, that was so wow. fun. Let's have a little bit. Oh my god, god. perfect. <laughs> so I'm with my friends. They're modeling the Michael Kors swim collections and they look stunning. So I wanted to show them. I want to show them the shoes real quick. We have a little heeled little stud moment and then we have a little bit of a bigger stud moment. These are more gladiators, a little bit more of a heel. And look at the, let's show the jewelry. Okay, we so we have a beautiful MK wrinkle. And then this little necklace, this little MK. Mm -hmm. You have this beautiful little pave ring moment with these little bracelets. And look, I happen to have the gold one too. Right. So a little bit of a twin oh moment. God, cute. And then the little swimsuit moment, the little one piece. We love a one piece because it looks sickening the house. <laughs> and the girls look beautiful as as per usual, as we, what we would expect. And we're having such a jolly old time here in Austin. And I just love it. And I'm going to do an outfit of the day. They're just laughing because they're not used to seeing me. No, I didn't like Sergio. I'm going to give you outfit. So I will leave everything linked down below, including what the TV. girls are wearing. So my sandals are Ginza from the row. A little classy moment. My trousers or pants are from Drysby's Norton. I found a link for them. They're on sale. I'll link them down below. Mm -hmm. My bodysuit is from Aritzia. I'm wearing this ombre little hoodie moment. But girl, I'm gonna have some de calor, so no me quiero morir, man. Girl, I'm already sweating, girl. <laughs> I got Botox on these armpits, but still, I'm still sweating. <laughs> um, jewelry. I have this little Dior friendship bracelet with my friend Chase. A little Cardi moment and this little. Uh, little bingo moment, mm -hmm. and then my glasses are Michael Kors. They're perfect. Period. Bracelets are Michael Kors. And I love them. Yeah, we have a little Michael Kors moment, and mm -hmm. I'm just like loving, sickening, loving this little adventure. I'm gonna do like having a, a blast in ATX. Come oh, on. I thought you were gonna say ATL. <laughs> little Atlanta moment. <laughs> we, but yeah, this is my little outfit, and yeah, I decided to share it with you. This is my little edit. 
Yeah. We love it. Cool. So I'm with Nicholas, long time coming. This Big is fan. The, this is the no, not even this is the man that does everything. I this, love him so much. Oh. Down. I think I was jumping in the pool to help the shots. <laughs> uh, Sergio's got all the shopping hacks, by the way. Like he, bargains, bargain boy. He does it all. He he is the man behind everything that does all the work. No, no, so no, we didn't no, give no, you a my team. The stream team. We got a round, a round of applause for everyone. Round we love applause. Sergio. No, we love Swipe Nicholas. Up, no. Tap to shop. <laughs> get, LTK. Give, the, give this video a thumbs up for thumbs Nicholas. Thumbs up and subscribe for more. Terrifically, I didn't have time to steam any of them out. Um, the girls were gonna text me when they were leaving. Friends, I don't. I met them today. I'll leave their apps. They're both beautiful. The pictures came out well. Like I honestly, like I never thought like pictures could be photographed that well. But the pictures for the pictures that I took look a little bit of the campaign look. Beautiful. I cannot wait till they come out. Like they are sickening the house. Like sickening. Like sickening, sickening, sickening. I need to hurry up. I'm waiting for them to tell me that when I have to go back down. Uh estoy sudando because girl, I was wearing the tracksuit, but the row. Aritzia, good American jeans, and then I think I'm gonna wear my blue backpack that I just got right now, and then um, I'll probably wear my sandals from Hermes, or from the row. Actually, I'll wear the ones from the row. And a cute little black and white moment, and then my pop of color can be the backpack. And I'm gonna take everything out, but I'll see you guys when I'm downstairs. For the girls. Oh, they're here. I need to hurry up. Town. Yeah. I did a little I did a little five yeah. minute change. I did a little five minute change, girl, even though I'm burning up. Uh-oh. Uh, how do you guys feel? How was everything? It was so surreal, right? It all happened so fast. Yeah, it did really happen. Okay, so, so we're all gonna spin it and tell you how you feel and then we're gonna get your experience. How was this little Michael Kors moment? I feel like it happened so fast, but I was like such in the moment. I was. I feel like we were in our own world. We were really diving. Girl, we, we, girl, really were, we're girl, we were living We were living in the fantasy, like literally. It, it felt like a dream. Girl, it felt like a dream for sure. Girl, like, like no brand does it other than um, the Michael Kors, honestly. Oh, uh-oh. What did that photographer say? Not the Sony? Can you get me Sony? <laughs> yeah, I was like... Is that your camera? She was like, yeah, how'd you know? Okay, so basically, oh, the, I'm gonna hold it because the okay, yeah, table you can hold shaking. It. I'm a little camera shy. So basically, we just wrapped shooting with MK. I feel like it was so surreal. It was so fun. I love the team. It was such good vibes. Everyone else that was there was such good vibes. And it I'm really just was so, it was great vibes. Everyone was nice. They were, they were super nice. And I'm just so grateful to have the opportunity and I'm so glad that we all got to be a part of it. And yeah, it was a vibe. Good drinks, good vibes, good shots, the above. I cannot wait for the actual pictures that come out. Right. Like honestly, I've never felt like a model or like anything like that. Cause girl, I'm not that cute, but you know, I, no, but like that, y'all yeah. are models, yeah. but I'm not. <laughs> Y'all are on the model side and influencer side. I'm just on the influencer side, but right. like, girl, I, I I felt like a Michael Kors ad campaign. Like, I look like I can be like in front of the store and like I walk to like like Houston Galleria or like North Park it, and yeah, and it was not. like giving. like look at this picture. It is giving everything that it's supposed to give, isn't it? it? Is. Like it is. snatching, snatch. It's giving everything, and I am in love. I'm obsessed. This trip was a massive success. I am so happy. I'm so excited. Like, oh, uh, like, girlies. Like, this is like, I would, I would, I would have not wanted to experience this other than you two girlies. Like, uh, is this on my water? Honestly, is, me that, too. is this your watch our energy? We all came. Yeah. We all served. We, all yeah. we, yeah. Everybody clicked in. You know, our bestie. You know, uh, our bestie came through with everything. Oh my God, Nicholas came through. Like, honestly, Nicholas is, Nicholas is the best. Like, Shout Nicholas. Out to Nicholas. Nicholas. <laughs> Love you. You know I, you know I and love Jane. you so much. And Jane, yeah. and Jane, and then 
And then Han and Hannah, yet. Hannah, and all the rest Shout of the team. Hannah. Girl, <laughs> Hannah, all the girl, all, all, all the girls, oh, super sweet. Like they do all the hard work so we can have fun. Right, Honestly, they that. really do all the hard work. Damn. I I love them. Blue's your color. We figured that out. Blue blue went really well because I had the the little set, but it's just a little too hot for that. <laughs> but when I but I the bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, like the strap hit me, but. We are at Gabriella's with the girlies and we're celebrating a beautiful day with Michael Kors and a new friendship. Yes, love it, girl. You're gonna have a good buzz, girl. <laughs> okay, wait, let me get my toes. Do I need a hashtag? Models. She called me a model because she is a model. So we're about to eat a little bit. I'm gonna try when I get back. I still. I cannot believe today. Today has been such a dream. I feel like Michael Kors and these aviators himself. I'm <laughs> so excited. Oh my god. Okay, I just got done eating at Gabriella's and I'm now back at the hotel room. Me bañé because I andaba sudando poquito. <laughs> a little bit of a hot mess. But I wanted to talk to you guys again. Oh my god. Today has been such a dream come true. Like, I want to pinch myself. Like, I am so happy. Like, you have no idea how happy I am. Like I am so grateful. Like, uh, like today in the moment just happened so much fun. I got to shoot a little bit with MK, which I don't know if the fit photos will be done by the time this is out. If it's not, then just follow me on Instagram. If, if I mean, I feel like you should follow me on Instagram regardless. Um, and yeah, like. <sighs> like, oh my god, like everything happened. I met a lot of the girlies. I finally got to see the team in person and I am just speechless. Like, uh, I just got crying with one of my friends <laughs> in the shower. I was just like, I cannot believe que está pasando. Like, oh my god, like I told you earlier. And so, yeah. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got. I know I was like a little bit kind of like going on the run. So I got this Michael Kors ombre. Like I said, I'll leave everything. This is part of MK hash, hashtag MK ombre into the monogram, which I think that's a really great incorporation. Um, it has these beautiful white straps. You guys know I'm a big fan of white straps. Um, it has a Michael Kors lining throughout it. And this is the name of it. It's in this ocean blue color. And it's a perfect size. It has a little mini pocket. It's super cute. I got the Wonderless that they left in the restroom. It smells really, really good. It's like a nice ambery scent. Um, I got this tracksuit. Track suit. I was only wearing this, not these, because these were a little too warm to wear. The sun is kind of out now. It was a little cloudy earlier today. Um, but, yeah, salió el sol poquito más. Um, obviously, we have the beautiful flowers i have this beautiful um necklace and i got a couple pieces of jewelry and i'm going to quickly show them to you um it is i believe these i think now a lot of michael kors jewelry is i believe this is 14 karat plated it's beautiful in k so this one's the one that i got for pride and um i have this silver one and a gold one so now i have kind of like my my little moment set where I have like all three of them, super cute. And then this, and then that. And I got these shorts, which were a collab with um, the SL Chorus collection. And I did get uh, these one chunks, which are super cute. And then these sunglasses that um, literally feel like a Chanel one that we had when I worked at Nordstrom. <laughs> and then this little floaty um, plane. So I'll definitely, I don't know how I'm gonna pack that. And then I got these little white slides. So as you can see, I'm like all ready for like summer in Michael Kors. Like I'm just, oh, I was gonna take a nap, but I'm like, I'm not in Austin every day. So I decided para hacer un huevo en Sergio. I'll also unas cosas de provecho. Um, this is from Zara. This is from Aritzia. This is from Michael Kors. Glasses are Michael Kors. Jewelry is Michael Kors. Cartier, good American jeans, Prada loafers. My course backpack. I was gonna wear something else, but I'm in that way about to steam it. When I go to the shop UAL store, it's like 15 minute walk. So I'm gonna walk, hopefully I don't get mugged, but 
I think it should be fine, so come along with me. I usually like to walk in Austin, especially if I'm in downtown, which is about a 12 minute walk. So we're about to walk there. My outfit's like a little bit on the mismatch side, but I really don't care. And you know who I really feel like today? Like honestly, today, me siento como Andy Benavides, mi favorite blogger de Monterrey, o me creo Chiara Feriani, mi favorite blogger italiana. Like, la mera verdad, like today I feel like that girl, like that girly. Today's been the best day of 2022 so far. I've never been to the Austin location. I've only been to the Houston one. So um, let's see what goodies um, we could find. So the Austin store was a complete disappointment. There was like literally no one, no one. Not, there was literally nothing, nothing, nothing there. That interests me, but at least I went. So I could at least say that I went <laughs> and I didn't find anything. I did not find anything that I liked at all. Nothing kind of caught my attention, not even like ever so uh, slightly. Everything was just kind of meh, meh, meh. Today it's about, I think, 10. Um, I was just working for my laptop for a little bit, lo tengo cargando, to do like kind of like my <laughs> iconic kind of like bedding pictures where I put like all the items in the bed and do like an individual snapshot so I can post it all on my LTK. A, a lot of you guys know that I post um, a lot of my items on LTK, so I always get, so for example, um, you'll see this in a future haul video, but like I've been getting questions about like this bracelet here, and I got this from my cores like probably like a week ago. And so um, I like to have everything on my LTK app just so it's a lot more easier for you to shop or if somebody asks me, I can just send them the whole look or, you know, it makes it more easier on my end and it makes it more easier on your end. So right now I'm just gonna like do a little like try on and do kind of like individual shots for all the items just so it's a little bit more easier. And I'm gonna pack, I have till 12 to check out of here. I think my flight leaves around four. So I'm thinking that I may wanna go to the domain. I'm not sure what I wanna do just yet. Um, yesterday I just ended up going to UAL and then I was in my hotel room because I actually have uh, quite a bit of work to get done. Um, for 4th of July, I have uh, two um, projects that are going to be out. So be very, very excited for that because they're going to be um, very, very, like, they're very nice ones. And I feel like you guys are going to appreciate them. Well, actually, I feel like there are like three or four of them. There are actually quite a few that I have to finish. And so when I get back to Houston, I already have like all my, all my products and all my um things that i have to get done to shoot and do videos and do everything because a lot of these things are like time sensitive kind of around fourth of july so i have to get all that finished um so i'm gonna go ahead and um make the bed i'm gonna shoot everything i may go upstairs in the pool and shoot everything individually and then i probably will um check out and a lot of the other things that i have going on and um, right now I'm gonna shoot all these items and I think I'm gonna pull like a Jeffree Star. I think I'm gonna wear the whole Michael Kors set out. It is pretty hot here in, in I was gonna say Houston and Austin. Um, but I still am obsessed with las rosas. And then I'm gonna show you how I pack everything because I really don't know how I'm gonna pack everything. I may go to the post office because I got a floaty and it's not gonna fit in my luggage. Like I already know. A good thing that I listen to my self-conscious. So, um, and I have my St. Laurent too, and it was already pretty packed. So I don't know how I'm gonna like pack for everything. I may have to check in. I may have to check in the lug. I don't want to walk around to the airport with everything. So I may keep this with me, check in this, and here I can just put the floaty and then like like my like socks that I was wearing yesterday, like uh, my Ula Johnson pants and like my shoes in here, like my Prada loafers, and then just put everything else in the bag. I, I don't know, usually I'll figure it out. I think that's, I think I am gonna have to check in one luggage. Um, but good thing I listened to myself and I brought everything back. I was like so tired because um, on Monday, I didn't go to sleep till like two. And so then I had to wake up around six uh, waiting for my ride. And then I came here and then I was like in the sun and everything. And then like everything kind of happened at once. And so I'm not kind of like used to that. Like it's not very like, I feel like in Texas things are a little bit more slower pace. And then I took kind of a break and then I went to dinner and then I was like, should I go out? Should I not? Cause like literally 6th street is like literally behind the hotel. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna put the alarm 
the alarm came and I was like, you know what? I don't. But honestly, this is like in general, I'm gonna talk to you guys and be real with you guys. Focusing like on other things. I've been focusing on like more family. I've been focusing more on other things. And I think it's been a little bit more better to, uh, I think I've just been focusing within more myself. You know, I think all that stuff is always gonna be there. That's what some of my friends tell me. And that's what like my family tells me, like Sergio, all that stuff will always be there. But right now you, I feel like you're about to be in your prime. And so you need to stop focusing on like, the wrong things and focus within yourself because if you execute it you can do it and that's what i'm doing now i'm kind of about to be in my grind mode i'm kind of still like transitioning into it but now i'm gonna i feel like i'm about to go into this, like this new step in this kind of new era there was a vlog that i was gonna post like a while back that i was gonna talk about like how i feel like not uninspired to post or like not uninspired or like ungrateful i just feel like for me I feel like I'm about to go into this new step into this kind of like social media thing. Like I've been doing YouTube there. I have over like 400 videos, 500 videos. I don't even know. Um, so many videos. Like I have literally all my text messages are blowing up. Um, you know, I've been having so like so many videos, but at the point it was just like for fun. And now it's kind of more into a career, which I love. And that's something that I always wanted. But now you have more of like a responsibility and you have more, you have to keep more of a, a, a cleaner image. And there's things that I can't do or that I can't like mess up anymore as I used to. I can't be caught slacking. Like, you know, at my own apartment gym, there's literally subscribers that have like, I've literally have been working out doing pesos and like those like, I mean, I don't mind. I don't care. Like you guys know, anybody can always come up to me. And, you know, they, they tap me, oh, I watch your videos, blah, 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 blah. And they want to have a conversation, which I obviously will. I don't I don't mind. And so, like, there are people that literally live in the same building. Or if I go to the mall and I go, obviously, I'm doing a shopping vlog. They're going to be, like, employees that work at the store. Or they're going to be, you know, this or that. Or, or like, you know, walking, walking with subscribers. So, it's starting to become more. And I'm not famous. I'm not, like, anybody special. But I feel like it's into that next step into my career and so there's things that i couldn't that i was able to get away with and that i couldn't and so honestly the uh, like even when i was in miami i told you guys like in a few vlogs back like how somebody came and like started like attacking me like and so that kind of put a bad taste in my mouth and then you know i had an uber driver i was like oh i watch your videos like so it's just like I mean, obviously, I'm in areas where those type of interests are there. So, obviously, like, a mall, you know, like, gay people, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that that are into handbags and stuff. So, I'm into those environments. So, you're bound to find people that, you know, know you, especially if you you always say you're from a certain city, you were up a certain city. And so, for me, I just find that I'm kind of going into that next step. And it's it's very exciting. I, I I'm This is something that I always wanted, but I'm kind of still dealing with kind of like, you know, dealing with like how to go about it. Cause I don't want to lose my identity. I don't want to be cookie cutter. I always want to be real. I always want to keep it 100. So for me, I'm kind of having to find that balance. And, you know, now there's like certain things you can't say or certain things you can't do. And I feel like, Maybe I'm a little bit more like restrictive on certain things. And so um, there's just like a lot of logistics behind the scenes. And so I'm still kind of maneuvering how I want to go about it. Because at the end of the day, I always want to be my th authentic self. But I can also see where certain things that I say is like not necessarily like bad, but there's just better ways to kind of like wear things. And so um, so if I haven't posted in a while, it's honestly because of that. And um this july i have so much great content um i'm gonna be uh, my birthday's in september it's literally like two months from july i want to go to new york fashion week i have like you know i'm already doing kind of contracts for you know i signed a contract for november with the brand for holiday so i'm um, all these things are already like getting planned ahead and it's just like maybe maybe the word is a little i wouldn't use the word burnt out i would say maybe like a little overwhelmed and so I kind of, and so there's a lot more like I guess funding into my channel. There's more assets into my channel than there used to be even a year ago. You know, all the things that I got to do within even the last three months is what I combine is what I what I didn't was is everything that I started since the beginning of my channel. And people are starting to take me more seriously 
my opinion, my value matters a lot more. If I say I don't like something nine times out of 10, if I tell you a good reason why not to buy it nine times out of 10, people are not gonna spend the money on the item. And so if I say this bag is not worth it, people are not gonna buy it. If I say these jeans are worth it, people are gonna buy it. And so, or people are gonna recommend it. And that goes with like, when I look through analytics, when I go look through, you know, links and stuff like, you know, I feel like my words have like a lot of weight. And I feel like sometimes I throw my words very like sparingly, like I girl, like whatever, like blah, 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 blah. And I feel like I have to find that perfect balance. So um, I did kind of wanted to say that, like, I'm so sorry, like if I didn't post a lot, like I'm just kind of like, it's kind of like this new step where I'm, you know, going into this new era of Sergio's Secret feeling, but it's such a scary feeling to um, putting yourself out there. And so I tell everybody, live your life how you want it. You only have one life. I'm like all red from yesterday, got a little sunburn. Like I said, I'm not used to being in the sun that much. Um, and I will. And yeah, so I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that because I feel like I haven't really talked about it. Um, nothing's going to change. I just feel like um, there's just going to be more greatness and obviously more like funding into the channel. So you're going to be able to see a lot more brands, a lot more styles because now I have more access to those things. I have, you know, people that I can communicate, you know, directly for this or for that. And so I have more point of contact. I have more, I guess, connections. And so for me, it's going to be um, a lot more easy to, you know, to bring, you know, more fun, more better content onto the channel. So, um, anybody that's been sticking by me since I've had, uh, since the Kylie Jenner lip kit video, like, that's privated, from 2016 to, you know, me working through Nordstrom, from me being in high school to me, people finding me yesterday or, like, a year ago, um, I want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys all so, 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 so much. And I feel like this is literally just the beginning for me. And I don't know where we're going to be in six months. I don't know where I'll be in a year. I don't know where I'm going to be in two days from now. But just know, like, even this trip was very spontaneous. It was like, but I also have to be focused and be balanced. And, you know, in order for me to drop everything to do something fun or to, you know, do this or do that, you have to have everything done ahead and plan in time versus maybe not a lot of time to, to do things. So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm planning a meet and greet for later in the fall. Um, and so there's like a lot more analytics and a lot more things. And that's another reason why I didn't go to live stream because I just feel like I just, I don't know, I didn't feel comfortable talking a lot on the camera face to face. So um, I'm kind of back into forest. This is definitely a trip that I needed. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some of the items. And um, oh, and I also got my pictures back from the shoot, which I'll show you from my laptop. But let me go ahead and start shooting everything because yes, it's not that way. But um, I did kind of wanted to talk to you guys about this because I feel like it was important for me to say it. So, you know, if any content creator ever feels like you're burnt out or you're not good enough or you're whatever, trust me, baby, I feel that way even as of now. So um, never give up. Keep living your best life. And let me go ahead and hurry up. But um, even something to that me that's starting to get like more recognition, I still feel like that. So... Um, I just wanted to let you know that you guys are not alone. Okay, I don't know how I was able to do it, but I ended up throwing. So I'm really glad I brought this long shop. Like, I'm so grateful because I would have to bought and I would have to go to like the domain and buy one. But here I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna put like, um, I'm gonna put like this. Like, I know this this would be such a big deal in TSA. So I have that, I have my Prada loafers. Um, I have that that I'm gonna leave there. And then here I just like kind of somewhat put everything. And then this, I'm going to check in that. I'm going to have this because I thought about just having these two, but I don't want to carry those two. I'd rather just put the tote on top of this and then just roll it through the airport. I'll wear my Jet Set sunglasses. I'll wear the slides. And then also I can put my laptop in here. And then um, my friend, I texted one of my friends here in Austin and um, she's going to come pick this up. It's a, a inflatable pool. I still have like an, another hour here. Actually, I did this way faster than I thought. Um, hotel, uh, such a pleasure. Uh, I'm so grateful. But I'm gonna go back home and work on some projects. So right now I'm at the airport. I got something to eat. My flight won't depart for a little bit. I'm in a little bit here, and then I'm gonna go sit myself in the lounge. I have about like an hour-ish, and so I'm just, I kind of found like a little corner, kind of like for me to do my work. And then I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna go to the lounge, and then 
probably take a few drinks and then I'll probably go ahead and get ready to uh, fly out back to Houston. I literally feel like Jeffree Star con el outfit así. But I always forget how fast Austin to Houston and Houston to Dallas flights are. Literally like 30, 45 minutes and now we're tops. What is up you guys? I just got back home. Um, literally just finished editing the vlog. I wanted to show that I'm gonna be putting the pictures of the campaign at the end of the video if you wanna see them. I posted them on Instagram if you wanna support them. Uh, if you give them a like, I'd appreciate it. Or follow me on the LTK app, I'd also appreciate it. I'll leave everything that I got linked down below. Um, I'll leave the girls' Instagrams also linked down below. If you want to follow them, check them out. They're uh, two beautiful people based out of Houston. And also, thank you again to the Michael Kors team for everything. I really, really appreciate it with the bottom of my heart. Y muchas gracias to all my subscribers. You are the reason why I'm able to do things like this and live my best gay fantasy life. And I just cannot thank you guys enough. I feel like I said thank you like so many times, but I feel like gratitude is something that people lack nowadays. And so I always love to show gratitude towards the people that love and support me. So I'm going to keep saying thank you till the day I die. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Hopefully you love the vlog and I'll do a haul video on the next video. Bye guys and hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day.